shoulder examination, inspection, and palpation. When you examine the patient with a shoulder problem, you're going to look at the shoulder. And the shoulder inspection is not as easy as the lower extremity. So we start looking at the muscles. If the muscles are small, atrophied, wasted, or big. So you look at the back and you find that the infraspinatus wasting is present. Then you start thinking of suprascapular nerve if the patient is young or maybe a cuff tear if the patient is old. Then you start inspecting the deltoid, see its size and compare it. Then you start inspecting the biceps flex the elbow and see the biceps, rule out a tear. Biceps tear may be associated with a rotator cuff tear. Look at the pectoralis, look at the axillary fold. Make sure the axillary fold is the same size as the other side. So we looked at the muscle. What else we look at? We look at deformity. Are the shoulders at the same level? Does the patient has easy separation and the clavicles are sticking up? But the patient has winging of the scapula. And what type of winging? Is it a medial winging or lateral winging? So we looked at muscles, we looked at deformity and asymmetry. Then we look at the scars, the scars of previous surgery and where it is located because we may incorporate these scars in our future surgery. Then we look at the swellings. It's hard to see, but sometimes you can see it. We also look at the skin. Do you have redness around the shoulder? Palpation. So what are you going to palpate? You're going to palpate all the bony prominence around the shoulder, and you're going to palpate the important muscles. So you're going to start from the sinoclavicular joint to the clavicle, to the AC joint. The AC joint can be a source of pain and you can less tenderness there. Then you will go to the coracoid process, to the axillary crease. You're gonna try to roll the finger to find the biceps and find if you have a biceps tenderness or not. And you're gonna palpate the pectoralis tendon at the axillary fold. Tenderness over the leading edge of the acromion can be an impingement syndrome or a cuff problem. You're going to palpate the deltoid. 
you're going to palpate the trapezius. You're going to palpate for trigger points, which comes from the elevator scapular muscle, and physiotherapy make a big deal about it. Then you make the decision, is it a neck problem or a shoulder problem? Don't mess the cervical spine. Palpate the posterior cervical spine. Examine the movement of the spine. Check a spurling maneuver. Palpate the spine of the scapula, the medial border of the scapula, the lateral border of the scapula. In a slab lesion, you may have pain in the posterior edge of the acromion in the soft spot. So as you can see, it's a 360 palpation and don't miss the cervical spine. You may actually start the examination by examining the neck first, then the trapezius, then go to the clavicle and start the 360 examination. Try to check for any crepitus or any swelling. Go after the known area of anatomy that can elicit tenderness, that can lead you to the diagnosis. Thank you for listening. This video is for educational purposes only. Please consult your doctor before you make any decision about your medical care.